Welcome to Healing Unleashed. We're going to have a little chat with you about homeopathy. This is Dr. Wanda Bettinghouse. She's the medical director at Healing Unleashed, and she is our homeopathic physician. Dr. B, hi. Hi, Dr. John. Good to see you this afternoon. Thanks. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about the kinds of conditions, the kinds of medical conditions that homeopathy can help? Well, John, that's a great question, and I ha whenever people call and want to talk to me, the first thing they usually ask is, can homeopathy help them? And the good news is that since homeopathy is holistic medicine and, and we're dealing with the whole person, and it's also very individualistic medicine, so every person is unique, most people can have a tremendous benefit from receiving homeopathic care actually no matter what the condition is. Well, you've been in homeopathic practice about 12 years now. Can you share with us some of the people and some of the conditions that have been so nicely healed by home homeopathy? Yes, I certainly can. I think there are several patients who come to mind almost immediately. Every time I hear the word homeopathy, I think, aha, I remember so-and-so. And I think it's been about probably eight years ago, I had a young woman come to see me who had, like, I think it was 16 years before our consultation, she had had a terrible injury at her work. She had actually fallen off of a, a high scaffolding and had had uh, <coughs> um, broken bones and soft tissue injury, and she still had a lot of pain from that condition. And also what really stood out for her was she had a fear of falling and she also would even dream about falling and this actually started even before she had the injury so I it was part of the homeopathic case taking and <clears throat> after studying her case and all the things that she told me I chose a remedy uh, called Arnica Montana and it's a herbal remedy it's homeopathically prepared and we started on our process of of healing with with a low potency and gradually I increased the potency and I would say 90 percent 95 percent of all the symptoms that she had including the fear of falling and the tendency to fall uh, was healed and that was one of the most satisfying cases uh, of patients that I have ever dealt with in homeopathy. Wow Dr. B that's a wonderful case how about another case that's um, maybe quite different from that one? Another case that really stands out and it's because it was so dramatic on a physical level and it was a young woman who came to see me about, about four or five years ago with a 10 year history of warts, you know, warts, W-A-R-T-S. And they were covering both of her feet, all the soles of both of her feet. and. They bothered her so much that that she actually w was embarrassed by the sight of the wart. So she always wore shoes uh, that covered them up. She would never wear, sh wear sandals, and she didn't tell anybody. The only people that knew about the condition was her her parents and her spouse. So she came to see me, and I took the case. And in homeopathy, we spend two, at least two hours with a new patient because we really have to understand everything we possibly can about them, not just their physical symptoms, but something about who they are as a person, you know, what their temperament is, their desires and dislikes, their, their fears, their dreams. Uh, so we cover a lot in a, in a consultation. And so I chose a remedy, uh, I chose a remedy called silica, which is a mineral remedy. And I started out with a 200C and you know, I gave it to her and she came back in about four to six weeks and nothing happened and I was like, oh goodness, you always want things to happen. But they don't always happen real quickly in homeopathy, sometimes it takes time. So I repeated the remedy, came back and maybe one wart was trying to go away. So I decided to go up in the potency and so I gave her the next highest potency and about six weeks later she comes back for her follow up and by this time, and she was in so much distress about it, even though you're not going to die from warts, they were, had affected her health and her sense of self so dramatically that I knew I really had to help her. And so she walks into the room and, you know, 
I said, okay, how are you? And she looked at me, and she said, they're gone. And I go, no, you're kidding. They're gone? And I said, show me. So she takes off her shoes and socks and puts her foot up. And sure enough, she had perfectly normal feet. Totally gone. Now, this woman had had all the traditional medical help. She had had them frozen off. She had actually had them surgically removed. And she had had all kind of skin preparations put on them. But they never, ever, hardly touched them or they came right back. And it's been four years now, and she still has completely normal feet. So those are the things that make homeopathy so satisfying. Dr. B, a lot of people are confused about homeopathy because they're used to pharmaceutical drugs, which can very speedily take away symptoms but not cure the disease, of course, so that if you take away the prescription drug, guess what? The symptoms are mm -hmm. right back. Mm -hmm. Now, homeopathy often cures, and that means the symptoms are gone for, I think, years before a homeopath declares a cure. The symptoms have yeah. to be gone. Um, three to five years. Yeah, three to five years. Why mm -hmm. don't you tell us one case when a person was, in fact, healed very rapidly, and another time when maybe it took a whole year before those symptoms were gone? Well, I can think of one case that was a, another. It was actually a chronic case, and that was a man with eczema. He had eczema all over his body, and the thing that was the most uh, drastic and dramatic for him is was, was the constant itching. So after taking his case and studying it, I found a remedy that I thought matched all of his symptoms, and he came back for his follow-up. The itching was almost completely gone. Now, we still had work to do, to get the inflammatory process with the eczema cleared, but he had immediate relief from the itching, which was the main thing he was concerned about. I like that story because the first time I used homeopathy, mm -hmm. it was for eczema, which I had on mm -hmm. my elbows, mm -hmm. and the itching is awful. Um, I went to my homeopath with three different symptoms. One was the eczema, but I was also having some memory problems um, I hit my head a couple times as a kid. I was a gymnast. I missed tricks and fell on my head. And I had a third problem. And, you know, it took about a year, but all three of uh, the mm -hmm. eczema cleared up. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen overnight, though. It would come and go That's for right. a while, come and go. But by the end of the year, I was free of eczema, and it never came back. And my memory had improved and stayed much better for years and years afterwards. What about a time when... You got a good cure, but maybe it took uh, months to get that cure. Maybe you had to change remedies several times before you found the best remedy. Well, that is a, another man that I saw a few years ago with a history of chronic sinus infections. And he was uh, a wonderful uh, man, and he he was kind of kind of doubtful about this homeopathy stuff. So we started the process, and he had been on antibiotics at probably half of his life you know he'd be on for two weeks off for two weeks on for two weeks so we started our treatment and I did have to change the remedy a couple of times before we got to the point where I felt like we were right on target and then he would go like a whole month without any evidence of a sinus infection and then he would go two months and over about a year's period of time he got to the point where he did not need any antibiotics, and I just saw him recently, and I, it's been three years, and I think he succumbed to taking an antibiotic one time because he got afraid, but he has been off antibiotics for three years. He occasionally gets a little congestion in his sinuses, but I would consider him cured. Excellent and wonderful. I bet you're happy about yes, that. Yes, and so is he. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about teenagers? Because a homeopath pays a lot of attention not just to the physical symptoms but to the whole emotional, psychological, and even spiritual state of the person. Teens can, sometimes teens don't know who they are, of course. They don't yet know what they want. They can be confused. Sometimes teens don't communicate very well. Have you had, uh, you know, success working with teenage kids? Oh, definitely. Um, the thing about teenagers or children in general is that you – First of all, have to just get them to trust you. 
you know, I have to tell them I am not a psychologist. I just want to know, you know, what what's bothering you the most? You know, do you have acne or is it that you have trouble with stomach aches or whatever it is? So to get them to trust me. And then I, I just observe where they are stuck. Where are they having the most difficulty? And many times that will give me some clues about which type of remedy is going to be helpful for them. And, of course, I talk to their parents, too, because... But again, parents are only giving you their observation. They don't know really how the child feels inside. So sometimes it may take several visits for them to open up. But I saw a young girl, I think she was about 15, and she was depressed. This was last year. And, you know, she she talked about suicide, so it really frightened her mother. So she came in to see me. And I... I don't know. I just sat there, you know, very quietly, and she just started opening up to me. And I got really in touch with why she was depressed, and it really helped me find the remedy that was going to be most helpful for her. And she got over her depression pretty quickly, and I only see her occasionally. I don't think I've seen her for almost a year now, and she's doing quite well because I occasionally call to check in on her. Well, let's go to babies now. How do babies and small children do with homeopathy? I notice a lot of children come in for homeopathy. Why, why, do, why are the parents choosing homeopathy for, say, ear infections? Because they don't want to put them on antibiotics, or maybe as a child they were on antibiotics all the time, or maybe they come to see me after they've been to the pediatrician four or five times with an ear infection or whatever the problem is, and it always comes back. So they want... They want to make their child healthier. I think that's probably one of the main reasons why parents want to choose a natural therapy, a holistic therapy, because they don't want them to keep having the problem over and over again, even though the antibiotic may relieve the symptoms for a while. They know that it's really not going to cure or heal them. And so um, many times with a small infant, I have to I take the case of the mother because the baby is still in that energetic connection with the mother. And I had one of the best baby cases I had was, um, I think he was about six months old and he was constipated. That was the chief complaint. So I, I actually had already taken the mother's uh, case where I knew her and then I just observed him and what she was telling me about him, gave a remedy. She emailed me later that day and said, you're not gonna believe it, but for the first time in his whole life, we were out in the parking lot, and he had a bowel movement. He had poop in his pants immediately within 10 minutes after taking the remedy. Well, I thought that was great, and she was pretty impressed. <laughs> Dr. B, this has been a really fun chat on homeopathy, which is a fascinating, fascinating. medicine with over 300 years of use healing people and so we'll have to reconvene and chat some more and share more with our friends out there who are watching is there anything else you want to say no other than i'm here and i'm waiting for you to call me so we can talk more about whatever it is that's causing problems for you or anybody in your family because homeopathy is absolutely the most wonderful medicine that i have ever encountered and i've dedicated my life to it so this is Healing Unleashed. I'm Dr. Joan Sloss, the orthopedic and medical massage therapist. This is Dr. Wanda Bettinghouse, a pediatrician by training, a, a homeopath for the last 12 years. And we also offer uh, functional medicine. We do mm -hmm. gut health. We do brain health with a wonderful mm -hmm. program of neurofeedback. We are here to support your health and help you really get better. Join us again or call us. We're glad to chat with you. 303-986-0492. Bye. Bye.